Hi, my name is Hai Tung, and this is a story how I moved halfway across the world from Vietnam to the USA. Life in Vietnam wasn't all that bad like I remember it was. It was a simple time, and people were really close to each other. Houses were all cooped up together, and it was very comfy. I always, I was always roaming on the street with my brother and his friend to fight games and sport to do. I remember playing soccer with slides on top of local cement floor, and it was ridiculously fun despite the fact that the neighbor was desperately trying to kill us. However, since Vietnam was a developing country, a bright future is a strong uncertainty. The last few days of school year, my mom has given me the breaking news. I was so stuck, yet so depressed at the same time because I was ready to start middle school, but this decision was final. In about a month, we'll be flying to America, the dreamland. At first, I couldn't believe it. There was no way I'm leaving Vietnam. What I always believed it was my forever home. Days had passed by. I couldn't bear talking to my best friends because I feared that it would make it harder for me. It was really sad looking at every at everybody getting all excited for middle school, while I was just there knowing that I won't be there with them. I was trying my best to spend as much time with my family as possible, but I know it won't be enough to push me to a new whole life. And then the ultimate day came. Everyone was there, from distant related to the close neighbor. Tear was dripping from my eyes and I couldn't look back. But my aunt told me that it will only get better from now on. And I looked back at my, my past life gratefully and turned to see what's up on the other side. After a 24 hour flight, there I am on a coast San Francisco night, waiting for the pickup. The most important difference, yes, most people overlook, is how traffic works in America. In Vietnam, the most common use Upper vehicles is motorcycles. Now I know this might seem like not a big deal, but it's just less fun. I don't get to see the people, the face of the people around me. Although a car is way more fancier than a motorcycle, I would rather have the feelings of sharing and similar faces. It just feel like people are more close to each other. After a few months of mourning and regret, my mom finally packed me up to go to school. That first day was terrifying. It feels like I am on a whole new another planet where I was just an outsider to these kids that are like basically the seniors of the school. I'm afraid to the level that I couldn't even remotely speak any decent or understandable language. However, my classmate along with my teacher helped me to learn a whole new different culture. When my elementary teacher put me in a sitting placement, I met two kids that were extremely nice to me. I think their name was Dylan and Harlem. Over the year, I used a dictionary to help me understand English and learn about words that I didn't I didn't know. The language barrier was so extremely big until my acre year, which is about like two years in of my America adventure. One of my favorite ways to learn English was to watch Netflix and I would imagine myself as a character and actually communicate to other people. To be honest, I never learned English the textbook way because I find it so boring. But when learning English, it's also helped me learn about American e culture even more. Traditions such as Thanksgiving, Halloween, and Christmas teach me about how kids celebrate their holy days every year. Arguably, the best holiday, in my opinion, is Christmas because you get a long weekend with your family. The best thing about being an outsider from a different country is that I always get to evolve and learn new things every day. Every day I come to school, I always learn something new, and I love that about myself.